Namaste all. So this particular video is going to be uh, the solution for the question asked in the electronics and communication gate exam of 2014 in set 3 of the paper and the subject related is mathematics. The question was asked for 1 marks. Okay. So let us see what the question was. The question says the maximum value of the function fx uh, ln 1 plus x minus x where x is greater than minus 1 occurs at which particular value of x that is being asked. The references for the solution of this particular question can be any introductory course on calculus which is studied by anyone in class 12th uh, in Indian curriculum. Otherwise, you can also refer to the topic calculus of single variable uh, which is a NPTEL video uh, given by Professor Joydeep Datta at IIT Kanpur and the lecture number is 13. So, you can refer to lecture 13 of this particular series of lectures. The concepts uh, involved for the solution of this particular question will uh, require you to know that the extremum of a function occurs at a point A if the derivative of the function at A is 0. Okay. So, after having uh, known that the extremum will occur at uh, the point where the derivative is 0, you also should know that the extremum is a, a point of minima if the double derivative is positive and the extremum is a point of maxima if the double derivative is negative. These three things are to be known. Okay. In case you do not know these things or you do not need to, I, I mean you do not see a need to mug up these things, you can easily derive these things by simply looking at a quadratic graph. So, if you look at the quadratic graph, it is very clear that when the derivative is 0, only then a minima or a maxima will occur. Secondly, you see all of these places the tangent is uh, obtuse angle which is negative, here the tangent becomes 0 and here the tangent becomes positive. So, the tangent which is the derivative changes from negative to 0 to positive when you travel this way. right? So, the rate of change of tangent is, what is the rate of change of the tangent? It is actually nothing but positive because it is going from negative to 0 to positive. So, the rate of change of tangent is positive that means the double derivative is positive and very clearly if the double derivative is positive you are having a minima here. While if you see this particular graph, this particular curve, here the tangent would be positive, it is making acute angle with the x axis, positive x axis. Here the tangent is 0, while here the tangent is uh, negative because it is making obtuse angle with the x axis. Therefore, the tangent or the derivative is going from positive to 0 to negative when we travel this way along the positive x axis. The tangent actually changes from positive to 0 to negative, that means it is decreasing. right? If anything goes from positive to 0 to negative, it means it is decreasing. Therefore, the rate of change of tangent, which is nothing but the rate of change of derivative, which is nothing but the double derivative is negative. So, when the double derivative is negative, you see that you are having a maxima at this point. Okay. So, these things are not something to be mugged up. You can easily construct each of these uh, formulas whenever you, uh, whenever you want. Just be known to how to see these things, visualize these things. Okay. So, once you are known to these things, we will proceed to further solve this question. And the function given to us is ln 1 plus x minus x. Okay, So, we will write ln 1 plus x minus x. Clearly, if you have to satisfy, uh, so if the function is given, you know that uh, there is something called domain of the function. So, for logarithm, the domain should be such that the input should always be positive, right? which gives you x greater than minus 1. So, the domain of this function is x greater than minus 1. That is, the this function will only take inputs or the value of x which will be greater than minus 1, which is precisely what is given in the question itself. So, you need not find the domain, but anyways, we will proceed to further solve this question. So, to find the point of maxima or minima, which is extremum, you first need to differentiate the function and equate it to 0. Okay. So, this is the fx given to you. So, once you find f, f dash x, you say that the derivative will be 1 by 1 plus x minus 1. Now, once you equate f dash x equals to 0, uh, to find the point of extremum, you get 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 equals to 0 which gives you uh, 1 by 1 plus x equals to 1, which further gives you x equals to 0. So, you now see that the function obtains either its minima or its maxima at x equals to 0. So, x equals to 0 is either a minima, we do not know as of now, or a maxima of this function. Okay. How do we figure out whether it is a minima or a maxima is by looking at the double derivative, double derivative of the function. Okay. So, to find the double derivative, what you will do is you will differentiate the single derivative, I mean the first derivative, which is minus 1 upon 1 plus x squared. 
and in this you will put the same point where the function had its uh, extremum which is x equals to 0. Clearly if you put x equals to 0 in double derivative you will get f double dash x equals to minus 1 which is nothing but negative. And now since you get f double dash x to be negative while f, f dash x to be 0 at the very same point which is 0 since f dash x equals to 0 and f double dash x came out to be negative for point x equals to 0 therefore x equals to 0 is the point of is the point of maxima for the given fx okay maxima for given fx okay this was precisely the question which was to find the point of maxima for the given function okay so since we have seen that the derivative of the function occurs at x equals to 0 and the double derivative of the function at x equals to 0 is negative therefore the maxima of the function occurs at x equals to 0 itself okay so the final answer for this question is x equals to 0 is the point where the maximum value of this function ln 1 plus x minus x occurs we can also very clearly see that the point x equals to 0 is within the domain of the function x greater than minus 1 therefore the final answer for this question is x equals to 0 thank you